Crystal and I recently went on a road trip and we took along with us these awesome hats from American Hat Makers. We actually have one more. And we want to kind of just like talk to you about the brand and share what we liked about it and why we chose this brand as our choice of hats for when we went on the road or traveling or even like when we're at home. These are like the hats that we uh, go to now. Yeah. Uh, I think they're really great hats. Um, finding a hat in particular is just very hard. Um, Especially if you're trying to look for hats online, because yes. yeah, it's like you only get one chance to try it on. Um, a lot of them you can't even return. So it's like you're taking this huge risk <laughs> of ordering this hat online. And you want to, most of the time you want a good hat too. Yeah. That fits nicely on your head. Because if you get one that's too cheap or, you know, not, it, I'm not gonna say too cheap, but if that's if you have, if you get one that's ill-fitted, mm -hmm. um, also sometimes you can't tell how the material looks online, you know, because you know, online is tricky. You never know what it really looks like and feels like. So when you when I want to when I purchase a hat or when I was looking to purchase a hat, I wanted a brand that gave a really good return policy or just an exchange policy. Mm -hmm. um, and so American Hat Makers, like I really when I looked into them, I was like, oh, they have a pretty good exchange policy and return policy if in the end I you know what I was like you know what I don't like it you can return it within uh, I believe within 30 days and the only thing that they ask is that you pay for the return shipping of seven dollars which I don't think is bad yeah, um, because it's reasonable it's reasonable plus because hats are actually pretty expensive to ship because you have to put it in a big box because you don't want to bend it um, so yeah, the bigger the box usually, and I know weight has something to do with it too, but the hats are light. But mm -hmm. in general, it's kind of expensive to ship back hats, so I think $7 is pretty reasonable. But the great thing about them, if you don't want to return it and you like the material, you like the quality, it just, it just didn't quite fit, you can return it as many times as you want until you get the fit right. And I thought that was an amazing um, exchange policy. Yeah. Yeah, because other brands I have kind of looked into, it's like you can get two times or just one time. It wasn't like an endless, like, as many times as you want. So, um, yeah, so they get it. You know, they get that um, hats are very important. It's a unique kind of fit to everybody. So they want to give their customers a satisfaction and, you know, a right to have what they want. <laughs> I mean, you're paying, you know, a good amount of money for a good hat, so you want it to be right. So this brand is actually made here in the U.S. Uh, they are they have been around for a while. I actually did not know about them. Um, they tend to make hats, I guess, for like costume designers and like, so they've been around for a while and they have a lot, like a huge inventory of like hats and like different, you know, styles, not just these types. but. The hats that they had previously it just wasn't my type. And then they recently launched a collection called the Wanderlust Collection. And that is the type of hats that I really like right now, which is like mm -hmm. hats like these. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so then I was like, ooh, I gotta try, I gotta try one of their hats. And so I ended up, you know, well, I got two and then Crystal got one. But we, we share, we share clothes. So. <laughs> so yeah, so this is one of the hats mm -hmm. that um, I got or that we're sharing. Um, yeah. we, so we took this, we went recently went on a cross-country road trip and we wore these hats a lot, a lot more than we thought we would. Yeah. Because yeah. um, we went to Austin, we went to White Sands National Park and also Flagstaff area where there was like a national park there and also some other things you could do. But all those places that we went to, these hats like matched everything that we wanted to wear. So it was great. I really yeah. liked it. Yeah. And I like how hats just add that little bit of like... I don't know, spark to a photo. Yeah, it's definitely adds something else to it, you know, instead of just like a, your normal, typical day kind of casual look, this just adds <laughs> a little bit more of a, I don't know, oh, that's an interesting photo, or yeah. that's an interesting video with the hat. So I, I, I really, am, you know, I'm glad that we took these hats with us on the road trip. Yeah, so to talk a little bit more about the quality, um, when we received the package, I was actually pretty impressed with the packaging because I have ordered hats in the past, which I actually ended up returning, where they just stuff it into a box, not even its shape. So when when I opened it up, like the brim was bent or the top part um, was like folded in weird. I'm like, why? Like, why? Aww. Why would you even do that? Like, that's ruining the hat. Mm -hmm. And yes, they do say if you steam it, and you can shape it yourself. But I don't. I'm I'm not good at that. I mean, I could try, but. I want to wear it when I get it and I don't want to have to go around like messing around trying to fix it. So um, what I liked about them was that the packaging actually had a cardboard material in the hat. So each hat when it came in the package it was stuffed with a shaper like this 
um, in the hat so it won't get damaged or like bent during shipping. Also on the band here there was um, styrofoam um, and also plastic over it so that nothing gets damaged and the box itself was like a really thick box and it had like crates in there and cushioning so that nothing would get bent and I was just like wow <laughs> this is above and beyond like any type of shipping I think. Another thing that I liked about these hats is that they're adjustable. So I'm kind of in between sizes, a small and a medium, and <laughs> I've tried on hats where it's like, okay, small is a little bit too small and medium is a little bit too big, but there's no in between. It's like those people who are like in between, you're seven, seven and a half or eight, and it's like always interchanging depending on the brand. Um, so that's why I really liked these hats because inside the band here, um, the inner lining, it's hidden, and it's actually a very nice material. You can actually tighten, um, there's a Velcro here, you can actually tighten it to, and fit it to your liking. So I really like that they were adjustable. Mm -hmm. Again, I mean, if you don't like it even after adjusting and you want to return it and try another one, I mean, that's totally optional too. But I like that, you know, if you want to get it really, really custom fit, like they have this option here. Yeah. And that one has it too. I think all, all the ones we got had these um, yeah, adjustable yeah. bands on here. And then to make it more adjustable, they sent like these felt type of, of Velcro things that you could stick on the side of your hat so it'll, you know, tighten it up even more. Uh, and they give you this nice instruction booklet right here in the front. So they have, is your hat too big? And so they'll give you some, a standard sweat liner, a half size reducer, and a full size reducer. And it gives you just instructions on how to do it all. Yeah, and they really stand by their quality. I saw online that if for any reason something happens to your hat, like maybe the lining fell off or whatever, their warranty is amazing. So they give an amazing warranty because they, I guess they really trust their products. <laughs> but yeah, that was another thing that I noticed that I thought was great, that they had a really great um, warranty on it. Um, so yeah, so you can rest assured that if something happens to it, you didn't just waste a hundred some dollars on a hat because um, you know a hat is one of those things where like it's not like underwear right you don't wear it every day <laughs> but you spend but you spend pretty good money on it because I feel like most hats I've looked at online are above a hundred dollars if you want to get a nice one um, yeah. with pretty decent quality so you know a hundred dollars and you don't wear it all the time is you know it's a little bit pricey so I get it I get it why me and other people are hesitant to spend, you know, to drop a hundred dollars on a product that you're not going to wear or use every day. So it's nice that you have that peace of mind that, you know, if something does happen to it, they have a great warranty. And also if it doesn't fit, you can return it or exchange it for another size. Um, so yeah, so those are like one of the main reasons why we like American hat makers. Also, we like the style, obviously. <laughs> like we're not gonna... <laughs> well, style is definitely what I look at first. Yeah, <laughs> I then, like the way it fits, yeah. yeah. And then you look at the quality and then, you know, other things that come with it. But yeah, definitely the style is always a key, of course, because you wanna look good in your photos and your travel <laughs> photos and videos. So this style, we, all, we both agree we really liked. Um, and they're coming out with like newer styles too that Candy's really interested in. Yeah, um, I actually just ordered one during Black Friday. So <laughs> I'll be getting another hat in the mail soon. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I thought I'd just show you the other hat that I got here. It's like a very simple like, what? Actually, it's kind of frayed on right here on the, um, the band and I like the leather mm -hmm. um, band that sits on top of it. But um, if you're curious what sizes we're wearing, I know everyone's a different fit and different size, but if you are curious what size we're wearing, um, I think these are all size mediums. Yep, medium, yeah. medium, and medium. I just, I feel like with medium there's more options, like if you want to wear it more on you know, your forehead, or if you want to lean back like this, there's just more room to play with with the medium, personally for me, so that's why I end up always getting a medium. Yeah, and it says medium is a uh, 57 centimeters. Yeah, and so. if you go on their website, they have like a whole sizing guide, so you can go off of that. And also, if you go on YouTube, there's plenty of videos out there on like you know how to you know measure your head for hats and stuff like that. So, traveling with hats could be a little bit tricky. Uh, luckily, we have some solutions for you. We did a packing video a long time ago. Yes. Actually, it was when we first started our blog, <laughs> like close to it. Uh, and showing you how to pack your hat in a suitcase and basically what you do is you put your hat in the middle of the suitcase and then you just kind of pack everything around it 
And then you can yeah. stuff things inside the uh, inside so, of the hat so too. So stuff it like this, and then put it down like this, mm -hmm. and then put your clothing or whatever around. And that works pretty well. I've yes. done it several times. I've done it all the time. Anytime I ha take a hat with me, that's what I do, and it keeps the form of the hat, you know, pretty intact. I would say most of the time. Yeah. So that's one way to do it. Another way. Andy Another has way. Um, if you know on a road trip and you don't, you're not like limited to bags you can take. I actually use this for storage too when, I, when I'm not using my hats, is a hat bag. And I love this hat bag. It's um, really well made. It's from Cowpack. And it's got a zipper in here or a pouch in here if you want to store extra stuff, which I do. That's where I put, you know, these hat sizers. And it also comes with a strap, so if I want to carry it, it's easy to carry. But I can fit about two to three hats in here, but anything over that, it starts to get a little bit like too tight and I don't want to ruin the hats. If you're the type of person who doesn't want to hang your hat on the wall, you know, this is a great for storage and that's what I use it for when I'm not traveling. And then when I'm on road trips, I also use this. It just, I just like how, you know, it's a like cool bag and mm -hmm. It kind of reminds me of like, you know, when I watch old movies yeah. and the women are carrying like their, <laughs> their hat bags. Yeah, it's definitely like a, I feel like almost like a novelty <laughs> bag, but I've always wanted one. So I'm glad I finally got one. Um, so yeah, so this is what I have for my hats. So another way to carry your hat, which I, when I first saw this last year, I thought it was genius. It's by Lindsay Albanese. Um, she actually, when I kind of looked into her, she is a stylist and just like me, there are times when I want to take my hat with me, but then like, you know, all of a sudden, like, oh, I don't want to wear it right now, or it's too windy and I want to take it off. And you're just like stuck holding it with you. <laughs> and it's so annoying because you have nowhere to put it. So she invented this and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is great. So this easily opens up right here. And then you put it onto any like bag handle like that. And it's a mag so it's magnetic right here. And you just basically put it, put your hat in between the magnets. And ta -da! And that's how you get to carry it. Now you may be thinking like, well, I can just like make something easy like that, which I have. I tried to use like, I made like myself these little um, clips to put on the hat, but you know what happened? It left like a dent in my hat, like a little crease. And I'm like, oh no. <laughs> so I ruined one of my hats that way. So this magnetic closure is perfect because it's flat and it's super strong. Mm -hmm. um, some hats, if they're not thick, you can fit more than one. But these hats are actually pretty thick, so I was only able to fit one on these. Um, but this is great for the beach too. If you're going to the beach and you have a beach bag, um, they also make clips like for suitcases. I usually use this clip on my book bag, so when I'm not wearing the hat, I just you know throw this clip on my book bag on the back. And actually, it looks kind of cute too with your hat hanging on the back. But amazing. Uh, invention. She actually has a patent on this too. So yeah, so this is like, those are three different ways um, you can travel with your hat. So if you're in search for a hat, we highly recommend American Hat Makers. They're wonderful. Um, and we hope this review helped you out. If it did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you don't watch more of our videos, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.